Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection, a store in Tallahassee, Florida. We make hard candy, and today we're going to make some cherry image candy and show you how we go through the design process. We line up all of our equipment to be ready for when the candy has to pour. Things go quickly at this point. And we pour our hot sugar. The sugar is over 310 degrees Fahrenheit and is poured onto our candy cooling table, which will drop the temperature quickly. This table is purpose-built, weighs 2,000 pounds, and was made in 1891 in Hartford, Connecticut. My name is Greg, and I make image candy. And people ask me how I got into this, and the fact is it developed. I started as a commercial illustrator, did some painting, did some casting of aluminum and iron, and then went on to glass blowing and furniture building, and now I'm at candy making. Now that the sugar's on the table, it's time to add the food coloring, and we add this and stir it quickly. The boiling you see is the water and the food coloring boiling out. The stuff on the table is nothing but pure molten sugar, and we've got to get the water out of it or the candy will become sticky. Our palette today is red and green for the cherry design. This candy making technique traces its roots back to Murano, Italy, where they made millefiore. Millefiore means thousand flowers and was a technique making glass rods with images in it. The candy smiths in Blackpool, England, when they got their hands on sugar in quantity, applied this technique to candy. Candy makers have come to call the style of candy Blackpool Rock, but the consumers in England called them Sticker Rock, and the sticks would have the image of the flavor they were buying on the end. Names for this candy has become difficult for us. In England it was known as Blackpool Rock, and when cut into pieces it was known as Cut Rock. But Cut Rock in the United States was a colloquial name for a drug back in the 1980s. In Australia they called these cut pieces of candy lollies, but in the United States we have lollipops which people seem to find terminologically confusing. We've decided just to settle on image candy, which is pretty straightforward and descriptive of what the candy is. Now the candy has cooled below the temperature that citric acid will burn, so we'll add the citric acid which will make the candy taste more fruit-like than it would without it. The candy is cooled to the point where we can start to manipulate it, and we're going to cut the color palette apart. We've put our green on a side table, where we're left with the red and the yellow that will become white in a minute. We need to make the yellow candy white, and we do this by folding it over again and again on our candy hook and pulling the candy. The candy becomes white because it folds in air bubbles, and the air bubbles provide two advantages. One, they provide a bright white that we want to use for the background, and two, they end up providing more surface area for the taste buds, so the candy tastes better as the flavor dissolves into your mouth. We avoid using white food coloring, we're asked this all the time, but white food coloring is titanium oxide, and we just rather not eat titanium oxide. When we design an image, we have to design it so the cross-section of it goes through the log. But we're not just designing art, we're also designing the temperature of the candy. This is where it gets tricky. For a cherry, we need two very cold rods to be the cherries themselves. A cold triangle to be the spacer for the stem of the cherry, to be wrapped with another color. A little shelf to support the leaf, and then of course the leaf of the cherry. But we do have some cheats. One of the beautiful things is we can make one object and make it two just by rolling one log for the two cherries and cutting it in half. We really only have four pieces. We have one, the two cherries, which were one and were cut in half, the cold triangle, the wrap for the cold triangle, which makes it into the stem, and the leaf. So now let's go make the candy itself. While Laura makes the leaf, Greg readies the cherries themselves and puts a spacer in between to make sure they don't get squished together. You can see the cold triangle of white on the table next to where he works, and he'll wrap that with a red wrap, and then put it on top of the cherries in the spacer. Cigarettes. Smoke, smoke.
If you're interested in trying our candy and seeing how good it tastes, just mosey over to www.pd.net and order a bag for yourself. We ship almost everywhere on the planet. You can also visit us in person in our store called Lofty Pursuits in Tallahassee, Florida. The white candy that's now on the side of the log will support the leaf. It's the little shelf I told you about. We then wrap the design with the white and then with the red outer shell. The red outer shell not only looks good, but it lets us get a better cut on the candy when we finally cut it into pieces. Now we have to pull the log down into rods. And we have to do this without distorting the image. As I pull the rods, I hand them over to Laura, who's over on the candy cooling table, and she'll continue to roll them in stacks. She'll be pulling them out as each one cools off enough to be left alone, but if we leave them when they're too hot, they'll end up developing a flat side or go completely flat, destroying the image inside. And now we take the rods of candy, or the stick of rock, and we either turn it into cut rock, or lollies, or image candy, depending on where you are in the world. And hopefully, no matter where you are in the world, we're able to ship candy to you. Our candy looks good, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't taste good. And for that, we need candy tasters. Quality control is the utmost here over at Lofty Pursuits, and we never seem to have any trouble finding volunteers to help us test the candy in the store. And that's how we make our cherry flavored image candy. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to us here on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, or visit us in person in Tallahassee, Florida at Lofty Pursuits. You can also order our candy at www.pd.net. We deliver almost everywhere on the planet. Thank you for watching.